So, this is the Azrad Clinic. Some of our crew's been treated here. They do a good job, as far as I can tell. Who is it? I'll be there in just a moment. Oh, Dr. Flair. Welcome back. Sorry again for putting you up to that house call. It should have been my father checking in with Mr. Evelys. Now, now, don't give it another thought. Actually, I stopped by to ask a rather, shall we say, convoluted favor of you, Mirabelle. Why, of course. What is it? Would it happen to have anything to do with the local celebrity standing behind you? Yes, she is the crux of the matter, in fact. Well, I can certainly see why that'd be a problem. It just so happens that we've been collecting used clothing as part of our volunteer efforts. There might be something in there that'll fit you, Princess. <sighs> hmm? Is something the matter? No, it's just... You don't seem to be all that afraid of me. Our clinic has a policy of helping all those who are sick, injured, or otherwise in need. That goes for everyone, be they a Roman, a Spaniard, or Norman. And besides, in your case, I would be more than happy to help. Give me just a moment, please. There we are. Already, step right in. I still don't see the problem with what I'm in now. This goes on the outside. You just put it on, like so. Hold it! I am a Norman warrior. How am I meant to keep an even keel in that flimsy getup? There's no need for that. Mirabelle can handle this just fine. Let's wait and see how things turn out. Hmm. You may be right that these clothes aren't as sturdy in comparison. But, odd as it sounds, the right apparel at the right time and place can hold more power than you realize. Much like your mana, in fact. Huh? Clothing that suits the occasion can do wonders for your courage and confidence. For example, donning this nurse uniform fills me with pride and peace of mind. The outfit you're currently in has a similar effect on you, doesn't it, princess? <sighs> You've been told to spend the entirety of today here in Karnak. I'm positive the memories these garments hold will give you the strength to do just that. What one wears during life's biggest moments can serve as a memory in and of itself. So that's how you people see it. Fine then. One change of clothes won't kill me. Your words won me over. Even if that bit about memories went over my head. I knew you'd come around. See? What did I say? Indeed, Mirabelle is quite impressive for someone her age. I heard she even has a knack for getting all the children to drink their medicine, no matter how bitter. Dun -da -da -da! The time has come for the grand reveal! From fearsome pirate princess to cute as a button, I present to you, Karja! You call this cute? Drafty more like. Hmm. Huh. You really think so? Actually, now that I'm wearing it, this is a lot more mobility than I thought it would. Consider me astounded. You're a miracle worker, Mirabelle. Not even I thought it would go this well. On that note, it's nearly time for you two to meet with the militia, isn't it? You should probably be on your way, Adel. <sighs> this 
The sea breeze feels better than ever. Wonder if that's thanks to this getup. Still need some breaking in. It's not half bad. Uh, don't think that means I'm giddy about it, though. If I catch you leering, you're dead. Why is the militia all gathered up like that? Well, just hurry up and finish whatever it is you need to do. And you're absolutely sure they were dead? No doubt about it, sir. We dealt the fatal blows ourselves. It all happened so quickly. We looked away for only a second when... Mattel! You showed up just like you said you would! Wait, who's the girl? Hey, things are tangled enough without you spinning extra yarns. Man, she's a real looker, huh? I've got a childhood friend myself. Remind me to introduce you sometime. Anyway, thanks for making the trip over and all, but we're actually pretty swamped at the moment. Yep, we've got our whole roster here. Some pedestrians were attacked by a pack of wolves on the highway outside town this morning. Our guys from the militia made sure to stamp them up for good. But the minute they took their eyes off the bodies, a whole bunch of them disappeared. Maybe a bear came by and snatched up its next few meals? Whisking that many dead wolves away in the few moments no one was looking? Sounds kind of far-fetched. The most likely answer is that they were never actually finished off. But, I don't know. Isn't that man... So it's possible these wolves escaped with their injuries and are still lurking along the road. Yet despite that, the blockade was lifted, allowing several civilians to exit onto the highway. Do I have that correct, Commander Gulliver? <sighs> That's about the long and short of it, yeah. But no matter how you spin it, there's just too much about this case that doesn't add up. That's unusually glib coming from you. I understand the desire to stick up for your men, but remember whose shoulders the blame falls on should the worst occur. Now get moving! There are travelers on that highway who need protecting, our citizens included. Hey! I've just about had it with your selective hearing! Hmm? Commander Gulliver and the rest of the militia made every effort to kill those wolves and keep the roads blocked. But there's only so much we can do when we're constantly understaffed. The whole squad's exhausted. Each of us barely gets any time off. And it's all because you caved into the Normans and slashed our budget. Hmm. That's enough, Grin. But, Commander! <sighs> The mayor's right. Keeping the people safe is what matters most right now. We're in a race against time. I'm going to need every able-bodied member on deck. Yes, sir! My men and I will move out straight away, Mayor Clement. We'll report back as soon as we can. See that you do. All right! Let's get this show on the road! Sorry, Adel. Duty's calling. If you're still interested in signing up, drop by again after things cool down a bit. Great. Catch you then. this incident has me curious, but don't tell me you're bent on helping. Have it your way. So the militia headed for the Hagen Highway, huh? We can get there by circling back past the clinic. You want to follow him? Then hurry it up.
should be a good spot to rest. I don't believe it. And every time we knock one down, it just gets back up again. <sighs> Commander, what the hell are we dealing with here? Couldn't tell you. But I've got a pretty good idea of why all that carrion went missing now. Damn it all! No! You need to fall back! Now! These things can't be... No way! What in the world is going on here? Mana, you say? I did hear that a handful of Normans had mysterious powers at their disposal. And you're saying that seashell there gave you the ability to use them? That's ridiculous! You can't expect us to actually believe this! <sighs> and... Knee slide! God Almighty, Leela Almighty, Adel Almighty! I beseech thee, grant me thy strength! Ah, oh, crap. No dice, huh? Not a speck of shame in this one. Well, Commander, now that we know the whole story, let's ask Adel and his lady friend to save the townsfolk in our place. What? Come off it, Gren. These two aren't part of the militia. Heck, they're practically still kids. The mayor chewed us out enough when you first joined up. Imagine how he'd react to this. Well, I'm not hearing any other bright ideas. We already know we can't take down those wolves ourselves. And there's more where they came from. What about all the people still out on the highway? Well, well... Besides, Commander, that all here's the guy I told you about yesterday. The one who wanted to sign up with us. It... Is that right? Uh, it's... Adel and Karja, right? Hate to put you out, but we're gonna need you to rescue the townsfolk in our place. Far above. If you're that set on this, then let's make it quick. Oh, right. Take this with you. Let me know if you run out and I'll top you off. Try not to get too in over your heads. We'll come back you up once we're finished tending to the wounded. Best of luck to you. the road don't you have any idea how vital today's negotiations are you do realize that they don't understand human speech right dad anyway I'm more worried about whether the others managed to get away safely I can't put my finger on it but something about these wolves gives me a bad feeling hard to imagine feeling good about a wild animal attack son 
Anyone, man or beast, who gets in the way of our business is evil incarnate from head to toe. Once the militia gets here, I'll have these mutts turned into fur coats and sold for a profit. Who, who are you two? Oh, folks from the militia. A bit on the young side, but I won't complain. Whoa-ho-ho! -ho! It... incredible. Looks like I was right to think those wolves were out of the ordinary. <sighs> so much for those fur coats. Priorities, Dad? Shoot! Good call! Uh, how would you two like a job escorting us to our destination? I'm Romess of Carpent Trading, by the way. Romess Carpent? You're that big money merchant from Karnak. Well, what do you say? I can pay double the militia's rates if you get me to my business meeting on time. You bet your bottom G it is! Cruz, hurry and draft up a contract! No can do, Dad. B why not? Because those wolves just now weren't the last of them. What about everybody who ran off ahead of us? Are you really so short-sighted that you'll throw away every scrap of trust the town has in you just to close a deal? Credibility is the most important commodity a merchant can have. It was you who taught me that. Oh, way to go, me. I always did have a way with words. Oh. Well, that settles that. You're free to go help the others. We'll make the sensible choice and return to Karnak. Much appreciated. You two be careful, okay? Addle! Over there! <laughs> this could be trouble. If the rumors are true, these things are immortal. Then what are we supposed to do? Well... The only option is to use one of us as bait. Just kidding. Don't worry, I'm not that cold-blooded. Run as soon as I give you the signal. W wait I never agreed to anything! Uh, huh? Who are you guys? Let us take care of this! Saved? Wow! Way to go, you two! The name's Rafe. This little fella is Ashley. I've heard those things were unkillable. Was it that weird power of yours that did them in? That's what I thought. Except you don't look anything like a Norman. Can't say the same for her, though. Now's not the time to start picking nits. So, what are you doing out here anyway? I just came out to pick some wild plants and stuff. The kid lives on his own. Apparently, he does this every so often to earn some extra money for food. He's not short on guts, at least. I'm sure Rosa or the priest would have been happy to help if he'd asked them straight up. Oh, stuff it. I can't stand anybody from town. And that includes you, Rafe. You're the one who went on about there being a lot of beasts around these days, before inviting yourself along. And thanks to that, you didn't walk straight into their stomachs. Would it kill you to be a little less prickly with me? I mean, you get along just fine with that little girl over at the lighthouse. 
Not really. Sometimes she gives me gifts and I return the favor. That's all. I do wonder if Sasha's alright, though. Of course. I'll make sure he gets home safe. We should be fine going back the way you came. Just remember to watch yourselves out there, okay? What's this? Closer. Do you even realize who you're dealing with? This can't be the end. Is there no one, anyone who will save me? Quit screaming and hollering before you rile them up even more. My pleas are answered. <laughs> can you be? You should have sprung to my aid the moment you spotted me! Excuse me? You got some nerve taking an attitude with the people who bailed you out. You're real gussied up. Doesn't seem like you're from around these parts, though. That's... What concern is that of yours, pray tell? You're right. Being ambushed by those creatures has me all of a dither. Oh, goodness. I truly am a pampered, spoiled thing, aren't I? What in hell is she mumbling about? My name is Millette. I am... a traveler passing through. Ahem. Forgive my lapse in manners. As it happens, I have a request to make of ones so capable as yourselves. You see, I am rather eager to continue down this highway to the next town over. But those peculiar wolves litter the path ahead. Might I request that you dispatch them and ensure my safe passage? Hang on. You're not about to tell us there's even more people farther up the road, are you? Uh, not at all. There were no signs of anyone save for myself. Aye. You're better off calling it quits for now, given the situation. Take the path we came here on. The local militia will be there to protect you. <sighs> It would seem there's no insisting otherwise. Very well. I shall do as you suggest. That scream just now... I think it came from over there. If so... It'd be a first. That's Pharos Lighthouse. Any vessel traversing these waters depends on it. I think the man who tends the place is living there with his kid. Get 
get away from there at once! Blast! There's no time to lose. Those girls are in danger! Who are you two? Stay back! This won't take us long. Thank you for coming to my rescue. Aren't you that same lad from Rusveri's place? Oh, never mind that. I could really use your help right now. I, I should say so. The lighthouse has been overrun by beasts. Not only is my daughter still inside, but Rosalind too. She had merely come by to pick some flowers. Rosalind? That the girl whose family runs the inn? Please, save them! I beg of you! We'll make our way in, but whether they die or survive is up to them. Living is a choice, one those two have to make on their own. I hear you. Let's go. I like. 
Let's keep up the pace. Its defenses look pretty sturdy. Let me take a crack at it first. Get in time? <sighs> Let's catch our breath. Huh. Everything's going to be fine, Sash. Someone will be here to rescue us any moment now. You did good, kid. Now stay back and watch us finish the job. Uh, okay. Gotta tough it out. 
Hope I'm not too late! I was almost in college. The stars! You're not hurt, are you? Oh, Daddy! <laughs> I was <laughs> so scared! <laughs> oh, Sash. We saw how you tackled that thing, Adel! You two were awesome with a capital A! Right, Commander? I told you he knows his stuff! That he does. Even without that strange power, his swordsmanship goes beyond his years. He and the young lady here were so in sync, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. It's because of you both that Rosalind and my little girl came out unharmed. I can't possibly thank you enough. The other travelers who are along the highway are fine as well, save for a few minor injuries. Adol, Karsha, you've got our gratitude. <sighs> Grin! Rosa, I didn't even realize you left town. It's a good thing you're okay, though. I don't think your folks could take it if something happened to you, too. <sighs> oh, right. Me and Rosa here have been friends since we were little. So I owe you for saving her, too. Thanks a million. Paddle. Just what were those creatures? That's something we're still trying to get a handle on ourselves. But let's hold off on it until we get back to Karnak. Might be a good idea to fill the mayor in on the situation and hash things out ASAP.
What a long day. Can't wait to chow down back at the inn. Wait, do they even have any empty rooms? Then again, these cuffs will probably... We can worry about that later. Let's focus on getting some grub for now. Short time no see! Almost too short. Oh, this hasn't got anything to do with the militia. I know it's a little last minute, but after talking stuff out, we decided to throw you to a welcome party, starting now. A welcome party? For us? Don't mind him, Karja. Really, it's more that we want to repay you for everything you did earlier. All of us are around the same age, so we hope to sit you down for a chat and see where it goes. I'll just come out and say it. Long story short, we want to be friends with you guys. <laughs> friends? You forgetting to ask someone? I... I promise you won't regret it. That settles that. We'll lead the way. Didn't this area used to be a shipyard? I'm surprised you know about that. The Sandras. They say she's due to be scrapped, but she's been sitting here as long as I can remember. Right this way, you two. all this I'm glad you asked welcome to the secret headquarters of the Karnak free youth brigade Ugh. are you really still set on that whole youth brigade thing you never change Gren by which I mean never learn or grow up <laughs> typical Gren the goofball oh yeah you want to say that again to my fist now, now, 
Break it up, boys. Is this any way to act in front of our guests? Wait, you were... Actually, now that I get a good look, this room's full of familiar faces. I'll say. All of us were born and raised here in Karnak, so we grew up alongside each other. This place has been our usual gathering spot ever since we were little. I'm a bit older than the others, though, so it's been some time since my last visit. So yeah, we still get together here every now and then. The two of you wound up our main topic of discussion today after everything that's happened. No sooner did we consider inviting you over than Gren the goofball here bolted out the door. Sorry for letting him off his leash. I'll bet he's pestered you half to death by now. You keep calling me a goofball, and I might actually go brain dead! Then what'll you do, hmm? No worries there. Your brain's been fried since the minute you came out the womb. We really are sorry about the trouble. Still, there are a lot of things I'd like to ask you two about. We may be in the same age group, but there's a certain aura of mystique around you. I couldn't agree more. Would you mind going into detail about that power you used to save us? I get the sense everyone here is trying to make you feel welcome in their own little way. You're not obliged to humor us, of course. Though I suppose you wouldn't have come along at all if you were against it. As far as I'm concerned, the less they know, the better. I don't mind, though, as long as you cover for me halfway decently. Well, no need to be shy. Have a seat over here and make yourselves comfortable. You travel around in search of adventure? Get out of here! That's flippin' awesome! Now I can see why you were so excited about the story of the Sea King's throne back at the inn. And everything you know about sword fighting is self-taught? Man, the life you must have led. And at only 17, too. That makes you the same age as Rafe. Cruz and I are 16. Just one year younger. And Gren here finally got his dream job with the militia after turning 18, right? Technically, he's still in training, on account of all the trouble he stirs up. <laughs> that sounds about right. Wouldn't be Gren otherwise. Ah, oh, cram it. I forget, though. How old are you, Mira? I'm sorry. What was that? Might want to walk it back. Or your next trip to the clinic might land you in the morgue. P point taken. That reminds me, Rafe. How's working away from home been? You got a living position at the mines in the countryside, right? Yeah, I've gotten used to it, more or less. Plus, the pay's decent enough. Anything to help my mom out, you know? Rafe. Bet you don't get much free time either, Cruz, now that you're helping the family business. Guessing you gave up your goal of being a shipwright? I may as well have. That's just the way it goes. It was only ever a childhood fantasy anyway. How are things in the militia, Gren? Commander Gulliver seems pretty put together, at least. It's fulfilling work, sure, but the commander's got less of a backbone than you would think. And by now, our rock-bottom pay is a joke everybody's in on. I can't do much about that except complain to your old man. All that extra money from downsizing the militia's staff and budget goes towards the Balta Sea Force's protection fee. It was the mayor who made the choice to take that huge chunk out of your funding. Hey, Gren, was it? Am I connecting the dots right about your dad here? Whoops. Did I forget to mention? Sucks to say, but yeah. The guy you talked to at the clinic, Mayor Clement, I'm his son. It's ironic. I joined the militia as a way to stand on my own two feet, and my dad still finds a way to give me grief. 
grief is kind of a strong word there, bud. Uh, sorry. I should know better than that. All right, you three. You're starting to talk like our regulars over at the tavern. Ooh, that bad, huh? We did sound about three times older just now. So, how'd you find yourself in these parts, Adol? Up north? Well, now, you're not about to tell us you're actually a Norman, are you? He wouldn't have come on foot if that were the case. I was told you met Dogie and Dr. Flair during your travels. Yeah? So how does Karja fit into the picture? Me? Well, I am a Norman. Oh, hell. Uh... <sighs> well, I think the Norman people come in all different strokes these days. Th that's true. Just look at how amicable Anar is. Besides, Karja had a hand in saving us, so... Hold that thought. <sighs> What's got you worked up all of a sudden? I hear shouting. And that's not all. Who could that be? Gren! Gren! Are you in there? Pops? Is that you? Keep the door shut and listen to me! Under no circumstances are any of you to leave that room! What? Why not? Crap! It won't open! Pops? Pops! <laughs> What's going on out there? Sounds like screaming and cannon fire. <sighs> it's gone quiet. Shit! Hey! Answer me, damn you! Waiting around in here won't do us any good. We gotta see what happened for ourselves. <laughs> 